Now we're listening to the sound of the funk box drum machine on its own. And then here we hear it with crystalline applied. It's a little too much, so we want to adjust the settings for the ducking. So we're going to adjust the t ducking sensitivity. And now you hear the reverb and delay effect from crystalline start getting ducked down when the kick drum hits. And as you turn up the sensitivity level, it's just controlling how drastic of a reduction in volume uh, is applied to the delay and reverb effects. So you can get some cool side chain compression type effects this way. Ducking release time adjusts how long it takes for the reverb and delay to ramp back up to full volume. So shorter release times is going to ramp up quicker, longer is going to go take a while. And you're just gonna tweak that to taste. Now the ducking threshold is going to control how strong or weak of an input signal it takes to trigger the ducking. So you can hear with it lower, it's more easily triggered. And as it gets turned up louder, it takes a stronger signal to trigger the ducking. So again, you're just going to tweak this uh, to taste according to the dynamics of what you're playing.